So today we're going to review Florish Excel by Seachem. It's been kind of a product that I've used for this tank being no CO2. It's kind of the, one of my secrets um, to having a um, no CO2 setup. So one confusion I already know people are going to have about this is they think it's liquid CO2, which there's no such thing as liquid CO2. Um, so what this is is a carbon-based product, so it acts, at, it's, it acts as a CO2, and I can talk about that. So... So there's three elements of keeping plants really in aquariums, and that's you have CO2 light and you got fertilizer. Well, if some of you guys might know, but if you take one of those away, usually you're going to get problems, and the most common problem is usually some sort of algae. And so taking one of those away is usually not a good idea, and having a low-tech tank or having no CO2 if you don't want CO2, it's, it, it gets kind of difficult sometimes, and this product kind of really helps with that. And so basically, this is basically a not an algae eliminator, but it it just makes sure algae never comes a thing. So it just prevents it. So obviously, this ain't gonna like kill algae or nothing. So this is basically gonna just keep it from even appearing in your tank. So you know, acting as that CO two and keeping everything balanced. That which is what that's doing. And so. And at first, I really didn't know if it... I used it for, like, the first year straight, and I dosed it, like, three times a week, I think, like, every other day, like it usually recommends. And I didn't know if it was working. I mean, I wasn't getting out any, any algae, so I just assumed. But it was kind of hard to tell if it even was working. And the, the way I know it's working now is because I got kind of lazy the last, I don't know, maybe five or six months. And I started getting algae pretty bad. Um, mainly kind of like I've I've cleaned it up since so it's actually it was actually way worse But you know over here this rocks pretty bad. This rock was really bad, but it's better And then you could see you could see uh, little algae spots maybe a couple on the plants, but not I mean not a big deal It's not like it looks bad or nothing, but But that's how I know it was working actually really well is when I actually started getting lazy with the dosings only doing about once a week and basically just doing it during the water changes and I could really tell that it actually was working this entire time. So definitely a must-have product for a low tech tank, in my opinion. I don't. I mean, I don't know what I would do without it, honestly, because it'd be, just be a big algae mess, unless you're doing water changes, literally every other day. But it'd be hard to keep up with the algae. So you know, if you're doing a couple water changes a week and you're dosing this, basically, I think it actually says you can dose it. Yeah, you can dose it basically on a major water change. It, it recommends a cat full for every 10 gallons. That's basically what I do. And then anything after that, it's a cat full for every 50 gallons. So this can actually go a pretty long way. But so, yeah, I mean, that's I don't want to make the, I don't want to drag this thing out. But if, if, if you're asking, in my opinion, if you should get it. 100% I don't I don't see why anybody would not get this if you don't have co2 it's kind of a must-have I mean obviously make sure if you have some type of fertilizer too like I just use all in one for this tank for now I mean I'm gonna switch to ADA products probably but aquarium cop has a really good all-in-one that's basically the fertilizer I use obviously I don't want to fully dose this because without without actual co2 it's kind of hard to fully dose this because it'll get a lot of algae. So I usually just do about half what it recommends. I mean, you probably could. I mean, I never tried doing full dosing with XL, but when I did do it the couple times, I did get a little bit of algae. So I don't know. So definitely the real, the real CO two is really going to come into effect better. But you know, this, if you're looking for a fertilizer on one, this is a really good one. But other than that, if you have any questions. Come like down below or have any questions about the tank, anything you see, and if you want to know what a plan is, anything, any of the equipment I got, I can definitely answer that for you. You can follow me on all my social medias, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.